thought I'd do one, I thought I'd do one more video. So here it is. You know, a lot of people ask me, Gary, what are your predictions for this year? Well, I'll give you a few of them. Uh, oil is probably going to spike. Commodities um, are going to spike. There's going to be a period probably in March where they dip a little bit. But silver especially is going to spike. Because, you know, the way I tell people about gold and not silver is, you know, when it comes down to a look at the history of gold. I mean, it had a massive spec in 1980 and then it dropped <laughs> pretty bad in 81, 82. Um, you look at the uh, other history when there was a world economic recession in 1929 that lasted all the way until the start of World War II and the government basically confiscated the gold in 1933 during the New Deal. So they can go that route too. So that's why I don't think gold is the best option. But silver, there's so much more silver than gold on the planet. I believe, you know, the next world currency that happens and we all know what's going to happen to the dollar and all this other, you know, garbage that's going on right now. Um, they're going to eventually default. So the next world currency has got to be backed by something. It's no, no more of this fiat nonsense. And it's, it can't be gold because obviously that has proven to be ineffective in the past too. So what about silver? What about what JFK did? You know, he tried to back the, the um in the 1960s when he went against the Federal Reserve. Not to get off subject, but I always want to tell people this, you know, John F. Kennedy is as close to an American hero as you're going to get in this world. And the reason I say that is, John F. Kennedy, born on the 29, 2 plus 9 equal, equals 11, born in the year of the snake, just like Abraham Lincoln. He knows how they keep assassinating people born in the year of the snake because that they're hard to control and to the Illuminati. But um, John F. Kennedy was a numerologist, and the reason I know this, or at least he understood numerology, obviously he used it, I'm about to present the evidence to you. Um, John F. Kennedy signed Executive Order 11110, and if, if you look at it, it's two 11s, and he signed it on 6-4-1963, you add everything up, 6-4 plus 1-9-6-3 adds up to 29, 2 plus 9 equals 11. And what that did was it took the right, for, uh, uh, the, um, the, Basically, the Federal Reserve's right to be the exclusive printer of U.S. currency, and that's where you had, used to have those silver certificates. And um, that's basically why they killed his ass. Uh, you know, now they want to bring the Federal Reserve down because the old world order is over with America on charge. But back then, they still needed the Fed to be in the place that, you know, the Illuminati factions in the U.S., and JFK tried to bring him down, and he tried to use numerology, and, you know, he did his best, he really did, but if you look at it, on 11-22, the only day in the calendar where you have an 11-22 that formed a triangle, if you understand anything about um, uh, vibrational energy, 11-22-33 triangle, and that's the day they killed him, so, you know, <laughs> he used numerology against them, and they used numerology against him, uh, yeah, the Fed won, but, you know, right now they want to bring down the Fed. That's why all the information about the Fed is leaking right now. Because uh, the world powers actually want to collapse the whole system. So they can have their little World War Three, and then they can have their one world government. We know what the end game plan is. And the way they've done it with the family, you know, the first through women's rights, then through gay rights, is basically dilute the family, um, not just values, but the family structure. And... Basically, when people can't depend on the family, they have one place to turn, brother, and that's the government. And they know that. Big Daddy, the government knows that. That's what socialism is all about. And I'll get more into that in the later videos this year. But a few more laws that they're going to pass this year, and trust me about this, because this is a four universal year. Again, 2 and 11, 13, 13, 1 and 3 make 4. 4 basically deals with the law. I expect a lot more laws to be passed this year. They're going to be strip, stripping people's rights. Um, expect more budget cuts. Well, basically, a lot of governments around the world are going to start cutting welfare, cutting social programs, and, not, and a lot of people uh, are going to be very quite upset about this. And that's how you can expect a revolt to happen around 2012, or which 2012 is a five, and five is change. So they're playing this, you know, along the site, the vibrational cycles the way it should be. I mean, if you're on their side, well, I understand what they're doing. Um, this year, you can expect food shortages to start arising, popping up around the world. Um, a few other uh, ones that I, I just I, uh, wrote on a blog about 
11 things are going to happen in 2011. Uh, first, one of the other things you can expect is Canada to go bust in 2011. Said that one on Savage. Um, expect a 200% increase in natural disasters. Um, the euro, euro's done. I mean, it's going to take a big hit after Spain. Cause, well, imagine this. When Goldman Sachs, when the U.S. dollar was in trouble and all the Arabs were about to, nations were about to switch to the euro, Goldman Sachs brought down the euro through Greece, and then uh, they started, you know, messing with Ireland. But if you think about it, Ireland and Greece combined isn't a third of the economy of Spain. So when Spain actually needs a bailout, yeah, euro's in trouble. I'm not saying the dollar isn't either, but um, expect big trouble with the euro. Uh, and other than that, you know, laws around the world, government's going to cut massive spending. Now, but tomorrow is the first big day of the year because tomorrow is the first 11 day. 1-6-2011, add everything up. 1-6-2-0-1-1, add up to an 11. So we'll see what the pace of this world's going. But yeah, I can promise you something's going to happen on 11-11-2011. That I promise a portal's going to open. <laughs> but um, now watch for something in, involving Muslims or financially that's going to, might happen on January 11, 2011. That's 11 days into, um, I don't know, the, fir the first year with an 11 and back end of it in a long time. And like I said, whenever you guys think, oh, this is all nonsense, believe me, governments around the world use this stuff. Think about it. World War One ended 11-11 at 11 o'clock. I mean, come on, put it together. It's all vibrational energy. I'll leave you with this. Remember, the strong take from the weak but the smart take from the strong. I'm out.